What's going on champs and champettes? Welcome back to the commentary channel. It's been a minute since I've actually recorded on here. I know, I know, but this time I have a pretty good excuse, as you could tell by the actual title and thumbnail of today's video, which is I have been searching for the One Piece. Is it real? I currently don't know. Now, for those who are unaware, I've been one of the people who have been told to watch One Piece time and time again over countless years, and I had always kind of, you know, joked about it, right? I have friends who are really into One Piece. They're fully caught up on it and everything else, and whenever I would talk to them about One Piece, I would always be like, oh yeah, One Piece is mid, ha ha ha. Now, did I actually believe that? Nah, you know, it was just kind of like a joke I would throw out there because I know that they were really into One Piece and that was not something that I had ever attempted to watch in my life. Or at least at a certain point, you know, I had attempted to watch like the first 12, 13 episodes, then I just kind of stopped. So it was always kind of just an inside joke where I was like, oh, One Piece is mid, blah, blah, blah. And then I decided, you know what? What if I actually go about and watch all of One Piece? Because I have tons of jokes going on with friends at this point, right? I have tons of stuff being like, oh, you know, I'm a Fortnite leaker, you know, One Piece will come to Fortnite when I'm caught up on it, right? And then I would have them begging for me to actually watch One Piece and get caught up so, you know, it could come to the game. Obviously, I'm not the one that controls when One Piece arrives in Fortnite or anything like that, but it's been an ongoing joke because we've had so many anime collaborations time and time again in Fortnite, but none of them have been One Piece, even when people are, you know, hyped up thinking, oh, One Piece is coming real soon, it's happening right now, all the type of stuff. So it's always just kind of been a joke I've had amongst friends. However, one of my friends who also hasn't watched One Piece, watched the live action Netflix series, thought it was really good, and it inspired them to start watching normal anime One Piece. Now, I have not watched live action as of yet, but I had seen a little bit of, you know, the anime beforehand, so I kind of knew some things about it here and there. But when they told me that they were going to watch two episodes a day, I was like, you know what? It would be a lot more motivation for me to watch One Piece if I knew someone else was watching it alongside with me, you know, throughout the same days. Obviously, we weren't in a call or anything watching it together, but just knowing that I have someone else who's kind of getting caught up with me and you know we're watching at our own paces and everything else and being able to talk about everything as it happens as if it was a brand new show airing live was one of the things that finally motivated me to start watching One Piece once again and man have I been grinding it now I didn't really care for One Piece too much right in the early arcs and everything else I was like eh, this is something that I'm not really gonna care about too much you know it's just kind of one of the things that are out there you know it's kind of boring it's kind of drawn out blah 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 especially during the syrup village arc that is when i took my hiatus and it was just like the first half of that arc for me was very boring for some reason i don't know why i just really couldn't get into it but when i started to you know come back to the anime and everything else and i'll try to keep this as spoiler free as possible i started you know getting past that first half of syrup village and i started getting really into the anime to the point where my plan to watch you know two episodes a day along with my friend turned to me watching entire arcs in days right so it wouldn't just be like oh i'm gonna watch two episodes a day i would sit there and i'll be like okay I finished, you know, the this arc. I'm going to go ahead and look at the next arc. Oh, it's only going to be three episodes of the next arc? You know what? I can do three episodes. Let me go ahead and watch those three. I watch those three, and the next arc's only like one to two. I'm like, all right, and then I look at it, and I'm like, you know what? This is an odd number to end off episode-wise. Why don't I go ahead and start the next arc, watch two more episodes of that? And it ended up becoming an addiction to the point where I have watched... So keep in mind let's say three to four days ago for kind of you know trying to make a timeline here three to four days ago maybe even five days ago i was at episode 13 that is when i took my major hiatus from one piece and that's when i kind of you know stopped watching now I have just finished the uh, the like Kobe and Meppo arc, which is, you know, episode 68 to 69, and I'm going on to the Little Garden arc, which is, you know, starting at episode 70, and I'm getting through the second saga of One Piece already. I've gone from episode 13 to episode 70 in under a week, and I know some people might be like, oh, you're not enjoying the anime, you know, you're not going to digest it properly or whatever else, and while that technically, you know, might be true for some people, I'm not watching it in a way where I'm trying to Speed run through it or anything, right? I'm not trying to just say I'm caught up with One Piece for the sake of saying I'm caught up with it. I have a lot of friends who are into One Piece, and you know, I've been talking to them as I've been watching the episodes and everything that I've been seeing, and actually reminding them of some old stuff that you know they forgot about, such as filler arcs and everything, because I'm not even doing One Piece. I'm watching literally every episode, including filler, and I will be watching the movies very soon and the live action, you know, in order, you know, make sure I don't spoil myself on anything. But I've been doing all that type of stuff where, you know, I've even been updating my friends and stuff, you know, talking to them with it and everything thing to the point where if you were to ask someone that I talk to it's like oh is he skipping through the anime is he only watching you know the good parts or something nah 
I've seen it all, right? I've been digesting it, and I've been memorizing a lot of stuff that's been happening in the anime. And the reason why I've been watching it so much is because my job is YouTube. My job is leaking Fortnite. My job is creating content for you guys. So I have a lot of free time. And I'm going to be completely honest here. This is something that, you know, shouldn't probably be mentioned here. It's probably a little bit of a sadder topic or whatever. I've been having some mental health issues, uh, or I guess, you know, just some mental issues recently when it comes to, you know, having this feeling of, oh, I'm lonely or whatever. You know, I see all my friends hanging out with each other and whatnot and it just kind of put made me bummed out and stuff because I can play video games I can play destiny 2 I can play Fortnite, I can play tons of single-player games Yakuza all that type of stuff and I can have fun with them but when my mind's not distracted I kind of just get this weird sense of loneliness recently where I'm like I see all my friends hanging out with each other doing stuff together but I'm not one to actually get invited to that type of stuff whenever you know I kind of mention it's like hey you know are you guys doing good you ever want to hang out or something they're kind of expecting me to invite them which is a little bit of a hard thing for me I do it some Sometimes, but not all the time. But that kind of feeling has gone away from me recently as I've been watching One Piece and, you know, having my mind constantly occupied by that anime. Now, there's one thing that has kind of been my anime curse, I've called it recently, which that is whenever I'm watching an anime or I want to set myself on the sights of watching a specific set of things, I'll put them on my list or whatever. I'll watch like two to three episodes and then I'll just completely pause for like three months, do it again, pause for three months until I eventually finish it. But I think that One Piece is finally going to break that curse for me because, you know, one, it's distracting me mentally helping me not really feel as lonely as you know my mind's trying to make me tell like tell me I am or whatever but also it's in a spot where I'm trying to get you know more invested in this type of stuff I'm an, I'm an emotional person so you know when there's a sad moment in anime or something I'm gonna feel sad with it as well but I feel like this has actually helped me get in the spot where you know I don't just try supplementing my brain's distractions or whatever with just video games but I also think of anime and stuff that I want to watch that I've wanted to watch for years now as a way for me to distract my mind and still you know be progressing and doing something that you know I've wanted to do for a while and I know that is a weird little side tangent on One Piece and all that type of stuff but I'm trying to you know prove a point here that I'm not just watching it to say oh I watched all of One Piece or whatever but I'm doing it because I'm really enjoying the acts and stuff right now right and like I wouldn't watch as much as I have I know today I've watched like 20 plus episodes or something like that and I mean I'm recording this video almost at 2 in the morning because I just got done watching One Piece and I was like you know what so I can have my day free in the morning so I can watch the Nintendo Direct and everything I'm gonna go ahead record some videos ahead of time so you know I can get a little bit of sleep and then not have to worry about anything why right watch one piece or I guess you know watch a Nintendo Direct st PlayStation say to play all that type of stuff and then watch some more one piece get caught up on two more acts and all that type of stuff or I guess arcs you know I, I don't know I call it acts and then vibe with my day that way but you know it's definitely been something that I've gotten more into recently and I'm watching it because I just really enjoy it right it's a really solid anime and it's still gonna be something that once I complete it I'm going to jokingly you know message friends and stuff and that you know are really into one piece that i've been wanting me to watch it for a long time and i'm going to jokingly tell them now if you're a friend who is watching this video right now close your ears for a moment so you don't spoil your surprise okay you can close your ears for 10 seconds starting now but i'm gonna tell them that one piece is still mid Will I believe that? Probably not. I, I mean, I'm really enjoying One Piece, right? I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's mid, but like, I just I just want to be a fu that funny guy who is like, you know, fully caught up with One Piece. I'm at that point in life where it's like, whoa, I can talk with them about everything going on, Gear 5, all that type of stuff. And then I'm going to message them and just be like, yeah, you know, now I'm caught up. I'm right. One Piece is mid. Zero out of ten. This sucked, right? I don't believe that, but you know, it's going to be a little bit of a funny haha -ha moment that I'll be able to actually portray afterwards, right? It's like a long form joke where it's like, yeah, you know, I'm hyping up One Piece as I'm watching it. I'm going through all the episodes being like, I like this arc. I really like the character build up here. They just, you know, I'm like referencing different medias and stuff. I was like, oh, it's the thing from Fortnite. Oh, it's a Yakuza reference, all this type of stuff. Just kind of making a little funny jokes with friends or whatever, you know, they can tell I'm having a good time with it, but then. I just want to slip the switch, you know, last minute, do a full 180, and be like, yeah, everything sucked. I never liked it one bit. Mwahaha. And then, of course, you know, once I'm fully caught up, then I'm going to have the whole entire joke going where I'm going to be like, well, you know, I will make a call to Epic Games now. I said One Piece would come to Fortnite, you know, once I fully caught up. Now I'm fully caught up, so I guess One Piece is coming to the game. So, you know, I'll go ahead and make a call over to the Epic Games headquarters, get it put in the game instantly. But yeah, that's kind of been my journey recently is just kind of going down the One Piece rabbit hole, watching multiple episodes a day. And let me tell you, I'll have friends text me when I'm in my One Piece zone and my Discord status will like say what episode 
but I'm on how much time's left and everything else because of some extra extensions and stuff I have on. And I've had people question me. They're like, have, why have you been watching One Piece all day? Are you okay? Do you need help? And uh, to them, I, I'm probably not okay. I probably need help. I mean, I'm watching One Piece. I told my dad I was doing it, and he was like, I couldn't do that. Because believe it or not, my dad watches anime. He's been thinking about getting into Bleach recently. Uh, I have never watched that myself personally, but I might have to put that on my list as well. But yeah, you know, One Piece has kind of been my anime of choice recently, and I've really been enjoying watching the whole entire change and everything. I've been told that, you know, it's going to actually become HD around, like, episode 207 or something so you know i'm enjoying this kind of like hand-drawn aesthetic and stuff you know the lower quality stuff right now as i'm watching it and it reminds me of kind of like the younger days when i was real little you know i had this like box tv the tv was so bad right the tv sucked i mean it was so old and everything or i guess you know so cheap or whatever that the screen was tinted yellow so i was watching everything with like this yellow tint on it and this was before hd was really a thing so you know you have spongebob and all these shows and like very like sd quality and everything else but back then, you couldn't really tell too much, and it kind of feels like I'm back in that era of time, where I'm just kind of watching, you know, this older, like, quality version of stuff, and it kind of, you know, is a little bit of a vibe, because I've been hooking up my laptop to my TV, just kind of laying in bed and watching it that way, and it's been pretty fun and enjoyable. So yeah, I am officially getting fully caught up with One Piece, I'm going to be continuing the grind, maybe I'll make an update video once I'm, you know, through the current saga I'm on, which is the Arbasta Saga, I probably butchered the name or whatever, but, uh, you know, I'll probably keep you guys updated on my journeys because I think it's a little bit of a side topic and this channel is just for me to talk about whatever I want to talk about. So I'll catch you champs and champets next time with even more content whenever I decide to upload. Peace out.